Oh my god! So I'm just waiting for my lunch here in the hotel at Ashnil Samburu Camp, and guess what did I find? This is a giant African elephant. Just simply chilling here. My name is Michael. After traveling to over 40 countries, 2021 has been a turning point. This year, a short notice career break gave me the opportunity to jump on a last minute flight to a childhood dream of mine, Africa. As a kid, I used to be a big animal nerd, spending evenings watching National Geographic and weekends in my local zoo. This time, I had a rare opportunity to explore a truly untamed and wild continent, all by myself. Welcome to my adventure in Kenya, and welcome to Michael Wonder World. Please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more adventures. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Day two on safari. Benson, where are we going today? We have another day. We are heading to north at Samburu. To Samburu, and we are gonna stop at the equator, right? We're gonna stop at the equator. So we are crossing the equator from southern hemisphere to northern hemisphere. Wow! Wonderful. <laughs> so let's catch up when we are at the equator. Da. And now I'm at the equator. This is the equator sign. Pretty cool, right? At the equator, an enthusiastic local guide was keen to show me a third grade science trick, the Coriolis effect. It's pretty much about how water flows in different directions in different hemispheres due to Earth's rotation. North of the equator, the water drains in the clockwise direction and counterclockwise in the south. On the equator line, however, you reach the beautiful equilibrium point and the water does not spin at all. This was a unique science experiment to see in real life before we continue with our journey north. Starting from the Aberdare Mountains, we drove across the equator to the lower and drier terrains of northern Kenya. As the altitude changed, so was the landscape from the lush green of Kenya highlands to the semi-arid savanna. As goats and cows greeted us, we officially entered the Samburu County. And now we have arrived at Samburu National Park. It's a huge savanna in the middle of Kenya and it's super dry here as you can see from the vegetation here. All these bushes and the grass are all grey. And we're going to spend the next two days here now we are going to the lodge to have lunch and then we are going to do an afternoon game drive hopefully to see some lines. Oh my god, so I'm just waiting for my lunch here in the hotel at Ashnil Samburu camp and guess what did I find? This is a giant African elephant. Just simply chilling here, finding fruits to eat. So what you can see here is uh, there are electric fence surrounding the parameters of the hotel because uh, we want to prevent wild animals from coming in at night. There's also a bamboo there. And now it's time for a hotel room tour. So I'm actually staying in a camp and here in Africa, the term camp is very different from Europe because I'll just show you around. You will be amazed. This is my main living area with a huge double bed and uh, quite some room to walk around. There's a dresser here. We have the shelves here and uh, the safe. I have a shower here, toilet, the bathroom area even has a hair dryer and the best part of it is this, look at this, 
and we can go outside by simply pull up the zipper and uh, I have this whole place for myself and here you have a great view of the river and the mountain you can even watch sunrise here so this is really luxury camping at its best right okay I've got some neighbors so this is my tent and uh, right here they are monkeys they are literally in my backyard look at them they are literally in my backyard climbing on my roof and uh, I also have a bamboo here so these guys literally just walk around like they own the place but I definitely don't want them to come into my tent and mess around with my stuff okay this is super funny look at the color of the box of these monkeys this monkey is masturbating in front of me ew The funny thing is, once I get inside, I need to lock this with this lock here because the bamboos and monkeys, they have learned how to open the tent using the zipper. So if I'm not around, they actually can come in and uh, mess around with my stuff. And also here, they told me to always keep my coffee and tea and sugar inside the safe because uh, monkeys and bamboo snake can smell it and decide to come in. That's crazy, right? So now let's hang out with our new neighbors before we embark on our first game drive here in Sambu National Park. So now we are going on our first game drive, right, Benson? And we have our first game drive in Sambu. First game driving Samburu. Samburu Lashnir. We're ready. What do we want to see today? Any surprise can arise. Yeah. Anything can happen. So this is safari in Africa. We have the rooftop open. We have a nice view. The entrance of the Ashnil camp. Hello. And now we're in the wild. Nothing can protect us anymore. <laughs> Just minutes out of the camp, we saw herds of impalas and giant gazelles. These are the animals I have only ever seen on National Geographic. But now they are just inches away from my vehicle. The excitement was simply surreal. So Benson has an encyclopedia about birds and the animals. We just found an eagle. It was Marshall Eagle. He's capable of taking a prey of a size of a Thompson gazelle. Samburu National Reserve is a home to several animal species unique to the northern part of Kenya, including reticulated giraffe, gravy zebra, Somalian ostrich, and Gerano gazelle, aka the giraffe gazelle. So I just learned a group of giraffes. They are called the Tower of Giraffes. And we have that right there. Giraffes are one of the most elegant creatures in my opinion. And seeing this tower of giraffes including dozens of individuals grazing right in front of me. This was the moment when it really hit me. I was in the middle of one of the wildest places remaining on earth.
Good morning. I'm waking up to this view. Day two here in Sanburu National Park a Safari. We are very early in the morning, 6.52, sunrise right there. Benson, good morning. Good morning. How are you? How was your night? It was great. I heard lions. Wow, you had lions. Yeah, lions uh, on the other side of the river. On the other side of the Screaming river. Screaming at night actually woke me up was. <laughs> No, because I know there are, there's electric fence. <laughs> One of the golden hours of game drive is around sunrise. This is when the animals are the most active. So we packed our breakfast and ventured out once again into the wilderness. The plan was to enjoy breakfast near the river. But once we got there, what we saw made me completely forget about the food. Look at this. A giant family of elephants, more than 20 strong. Generations of mothers, daughters, and sisters follow their matriarch into the river. They spend their morning hydrating, caring for the young, and socializing. These intelligent creatures display complex social and emotional behaviors that truly resemble ours. It's simply heartbreaking knowing that these gorgeous animals are being hunted for their tusks, and those teeth have absolutely no real value for human beings. Another big elephant family. So Hi right now I'm at the Samburu village. So my name is Tepes, we are in Samburu village with Mike. It's right at the entrance of the Samburu National Park. Yeah. So this is a game now. It's a game? Yeah. Okay. That's played by the elders like him, but whenever the elders are fed, uh -huh. we the young warriors play. Okay. So you, you are part of the warriors, so we play the game like that. So if you have more stone, you are the winner. If you have less stone, you lose. So this side is mm -hmm. for him. Uh -huh. yeah, sometimes we play as Gambling. When somebody, uh -huh. when somebody win, give us my love. Okay. Hello. So this is now the house. This there's a one family live in this house. Oh, okay. This so about, everyone is sleeping here. Yeah. Okay. So here. It's about a father uh -huh. and three little boys. Mother and a girl. On that side. Yeah. yeah. So here's the kitchen. So the building of the houses it takes about two to three days because a group of women make the house. Why don't your men make the house? Yes. Do you help? <laughs> yeah, not the, the men. They can help the women in the bush to cut big wood like this uh -huh. and carry for them. Up to the village. Okay, but they don't build it. But they don't build it. That's according to their culture. Ah. Harsh environment, primitive living, outside the hustle and bustle of modern society, the Sambru people still maintain their traditional way of life, in tune with nature. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you.